In this video, we will demonstrate the phosphorus diffusion into the silicon wafer, which is also called doping. Let us first learn about doping or diffusion process. Doping is meant to provide additional impurity atoms into a semiconductor crystal to modify its conductivity. Demonstration of the diffusion furnace. This is the furnace in which we are going to diffuse the silicon wafer with phosphorus, that is, N type impurity atoms. Let us first switch on chiller and exhaust. Open the gas lines for oxygen and nitrogen at required pressure. On the main switch for SVCS furnace. Reset all power buttons and now switch on phosphorus display power button. Now when the display shows all open, we will open the phosphorus diffusion display. Go to login and press the service mode and enter the password. Now let us open the phosphorus diffusion process sequences. It contains all processing steps. We need to check process parameters here. Press edits button and go to process tabs. Set for required values. When all input data is set, we can press the start button. We have to ramp up the temperature to 600 degrees Celsius. That is, time taken is about one hour. Sample loading. Pull the sample holder slowly. Load the sample carefully and close the door. Now we have to ramp up the temperature to 1000 degrees Celsius. It will again take around one hour. During this time, the nitrogen is passed inside the process chamber. The boiler or bubbler is heating simultaneously. Now let us start the diffusion process. The boiler contains the dopant source, phosphorus oxychloride, POCl3. When the boiler is heated, the phosphorus is carried by the nitrogen gas inside the chamber. At the same time, oxygen also passed in the chamber and both react with the silicon sample at 1000 degrees Celsius. Once the diffusion is complete, drive-in or annealing will start. Drive-in process takes around one hour. During this time, only the nitrogen is passing through the chamber. When the drive-in process is complete, ramp down the temperature to 600 degrees Celsius. It will take around one hour. Then unload the sample carefully. Press unload mechanical switch to unload the wafer jig. The cantilever and hence wafer boat will slowly come out and it will stop after it reaches the outer limit. Do not remove wafers when the boat loader is moving. Next, we will bring down the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. It will take around two hours. At the end of the process, close the processing window and turn off the breaker. Close the gas lines and switch off the chiller and exhaust. During the deposition, a phosphosilicate glass, PSG, is formed on the surface of silicon substrate. The PSG glass is a mixture of phosphorus pentoxide, P2O5, and silicon dioxide, SiO2. This glass is etched using buffered HF in the next step. We can measure the conductivity of this wafer using the full probe technique. 